This may be controversial, but I'm a small animal veterinarian, and I think cats should go outside. Now, before you blow up the comments on this one, I should say I believe cats should go outside with caveats. And I want to talk about that in this video. My name is Dr. Sarah Wooten, and I am a small animal veterinarian with over 20 years experience in this field. And in this video, we're going to talk about the pros and cons of letting cats go outside. And if you do have your cat go outside, some safe ways to make sure that your cat stays as healthy and safe as they can while they are having their outdoor adventures. Let's talk about the most common hazards that people give for the reasons why we brought these animals inside to live with us. Remember, cats used to be primarily outdoor hunters. They used to live with humans and they used to keep rodent populations under control. It wasn't till the last 40, 50, maybe 60 years that we have brought these animals inside. And there's a couple of problems when you bring animals inside, but we'll talk about that in a second. We brought them inside because we thought the outside was too dangerous for them. And in, in many ways it is. We've got predators, anything from owls to coyotes to wolves, depending on where you live. We've got animal poisonings, people putting out rat poison or herbicides or fertilizers. We've got a uh, hit by car. Uh, cats that go outside are more likely to be hit by a car. We've got cat fights. Cats get together and they like to fight. And so with those cat fights comes wounds and ab abscesses that are painful and expensive to treat. We've got parasites. We've got intestinal parasites. We've got external parasites, fleas, ticks, mites, all these creepy crawlies that live outside and want to get into and onto a, a cat to feed. We've also got infectious diseases from other cats, FIP, We've got FELV, FIV, feline distemper. It goes on and on and on. Then there's the things like exposure to bad weather, uh, extremely hot or cold weather, poisonings from possibility of antifreeze toxicity. We've got other injuries, torn nails, falling. We've got them wandering off and getting lost. We've got animal traps. I mean, it's the list goes on. The outdoors can be a big, scary, danger-filled area if you let it be. Uh, furthermore, some people have brought their cats indoors because they have noticed the impact on wildlife. In some areas, uh, small prey animals such as songbirds or little tiny frogs or lizards are actually becoming endangered or going extinct because they're being hunted by cats. You also can think about your mice, shrews, voles, squirrels, rabbits, there, there's lots. And some of these critters we want to be gone, but others, we want them to stay here. And so some people have brought their cats indoors to be mindful of the outdoor population, sensitive wildlife populations. So those are all the cons of letting your cat go outside. But what about pros? What are the pros? Well. First, let's think about it in the form of what are the cons of staying inside. So yes, we are seeing less broken bones and cat bites and infectious disease, but now we're seeing more chronic disease associated with stress and boredom and anxiety. Uh, we've got obesity. It's a huge, huge problem in our indoor cat population. We've got uh, vices and medical problems that cats are developing due to stress uh, from either being kept indoors or being harassed by other cats indoors, or maybe they're just bored and they can't exercise their hunting behavior or they can't scratch. So then they get bored, which also makes them stressed. And then you get stress disorders like feline interstitial cystitis, which is inflammation of the lower uh, bladder, your lower urinary tract, which causes them to pee outside their litter box and have lots of pain. Then we have excessive meowing or yowling because they want to go outside. They aren't mentally stimulated. They are um, having other behavioral problems because they're stressed, urine marking, peeing outside the litter box, scratching things they shouldn't scratch. Sometimes the stress can lead to fighting in between cats and can develop aggression towards humans as well. 
So the proponents of letting cats go outside is that uh, most of the things that are are causing the problems uh, associated with indoor living can be mitigated if you send the cat outdoors. The cat outdoors gets exercise. They run, they climb, they scratch, they play. They use their bodies in normal cat ways. So they get the physical stimulation, they get the muscle building, they get the mental stimulation. And then they're able to express more natural feline behaviors out there. They can hunt, they can stalk, and they can pounce, and they can scratch anything they want uh, without having somebody you squirt them with a, a water bottle or you know throw, throw something at them. That's wonderful for these cats to be able to do that. Also being outside, they get just the visual stimulation. They get to see birds, they get to see children, they get to see squirrels. They get to even just take a nap in the sun and feel the grass. Those are wonderful things for cats to experience. The overall thing that we notice is the cats that are outdoors uh, tend to have reduced stress and behavioral problems versus the cats that stay indoors. So what are you to do? I said at the beginning of the video, I like cats to go outdoors, but I also want them to stay safe and not come to my office with all of the things I listed as the problems for them going outside, all the dangers. So staying indoors is safer for your cat, but taking them outdoors is better for their overall well-being. And that's what it's all about, is well-being. If you keep them indoors only, you can mitigate some of these problems with environmental enrichment. And I do recommend going to the AAFP, American Association of Feline Practitioners website because they have a ton of resources on how to perform environmental enrichment in your home for your cat. But if you do want your cat to go outside, then we need to think about safe ways for them to do it. So the first one that I think about is taking your cat out on a leash. Just like you would walk a dog, you can train a cat to walk on a leash. It's best to have it on a harness that is fitted so they can't slip out of it and just train them and take them around. Let them sniff, let them do cat things. Another possibility is if you have a fenced yard, if you keep your cat's uh, nails trimmed, you can actually uh, have a tall enough fence that they're not able to climb, though I have seen some acrobatic cats get out of the most crazy enclosures. So having a fenced yard and taking them outside and letting them out there under your supervision only. That's another option. You could also get a catio or any number of outdoor enclosures. They come in all shapes and sizes with all different things you can put in them now. And that is an outdoor enclosure that's either by itself in the yard, or sometimes they're actually attached to the house as kind of a way they can walk out and just be outdoors in a safe area. And those are wonderful because if you keep your cat in that they're not gonna be exposed to any of the hazards. And then lastly, um, some people are like, oh, I, I can't do any of that. And my cat goes crazy when I keep them indoors only. And I know these cats, I've had these cats as my patients. And for that cat to live indoors, their life would be so terrible that it's just not an option for them. So that may be something that you're dealing with with your cat. And that's normal because remember, these cats are not designed to be indoors. Humans brought them indoors, but they want to be outdoors. So another option you could look at is getting them fitted with a GPS tracker. Like Tractive is one of the uh, companies that has a really cool technology, but a GPS tracker uh, with real time locations would let you know where your cat is at all times. The other thing that's good about having a GPS tracker on your cat, like on their collar, is to, in case your cat is an escape artist. Some of us have those cats that anytime you open the door, that cat is boom, out the door and gone. So a, a GPS tracker is a wonderful way to be able to quickly find where they're at and find them, get go get them. I also re recommend at the same time for any cats that are going outdoors, for them to have a microchip a microchip is not a GPS tracker. It just stores information that can be scanned uh, by a device that is at veterinary clinics and uh, animal shelters, and that has your personal information on it. So you have to keep it updated. So I recommend those plus identification on the collar, 
GPS tracker would be amazing. And then make sure that they're up to date on all their vaccines and make sure they're on the appropriate parasite control for internal and external parasites. You do that, you're probably going to do pretty well keeping your cat safe outdoors and also getting them the benefits, the mental benefits of being outdoors. So what do you think? Do you think cats should go outdoors or do you think they're indoor only? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you for watching.